In this video, I'm going to show you how to test a Hunter PGV sprinkler valve solenoid. And I'm going to show you the exact numbers when you're testing the resistance and testing the solenoid. I'm going to show you the exact numbers that this is supposed to be when this solenoid is good. That way you've got this number for reference. You can come back to it any time that you're testing your Hunter valve solenoids. My name is Kelly Sag. You're watching American Irrigator. One of the things I like about Hunter valves is they all have the same solenoid. Doesn't matter which style of valve or which model that you've got in your yard or on the project that you're working on. When you're testing solenoids on a Hunter valve, they're all the same. Makes it very easy to know what it's supposed to be and also just carrying one solenoid with you. But if you find yourself into doing some electrical troubleshooting on your sprinkler system, maybe you don't have a valve coming on and you're testing these solenoids, I thought it would be a good idea for you to have the exact resistance number. That way you've got a reference to always come back and look and you know what a good solenoid is supposed to be. So if I'm gonna test a solenoid in the sprinkler box, there at the valve, first thing you're gonna to have to do is cut the wires that go to the solenoid out of the splices. You wanna have access to just the wires that go into the solenoid. And so you would cut the splices off one is coming from power and one's going to common. And so you would cut them out of the splice. And then after you do that, you're gonna to wanna to strip back some good clean wire. And this wire is stranded. So a lot of times after that, I give it a little bit of a twist. So got a good wire there. And then you're gonna take your multimeter and you're going to take your leads. It doesn't matter which one goes to which. Red goes to one and black goes to one. You can see these are the same color, so it doesn't matter. And I like these leads, they have these clamps. Makes it really easy. Clamp your red lead to one wire, black lead to the other wire. Then you're gonna take your multimeter, you're gonna turn to the omega symbol. This is the symbol for ohms, and ohms is testing the resistance of this solenoid. A lot of guys say this is testing, also testing the continuity. Kinda means the same thing. But what you want to see is this right here, a good solid resistance number. This is 23. So if you're testing your Hunter valves, this is the number you want to see. Now let me give you a close up view. Again, it doesn't matter which wire goes to red or black. You just take your red lead, clamp to one wire and your black and clamp to the other wire. Then you're going to turn your multimeter to the Omega symbol. This is the symbol for ohms. You're testing resistance. And you see it there, 23.9. For this Hunter valve, if you get something close to this or right at 23, that tells you that this solenoid is good. This is the number that you wanna be looking for, for the Hunter PGV valve. Now that you know how to test your solenoids, you know what a good Hunter valve solenoid is supposed to be, you can go troubleshoot your system with confidence, and now you have a reference point to always come back to. So save this video, that way you can get to it really fast and come back to it as many times as you need to. Don't forget to subscribe and check out this playlist right here for more irrigation repair tips.